Um, I love teaching art at Bispushi because I get to see the pride that pupils take in their work and the way they celebrate what each other has achieved. Um, we also at the end of the year have a GCSE show and an IB show which is a brilliant opportunity for pupils to show their hard work, the creativity, the things they have produced which they celebrate with their friends and their families and other teachers. Uh, the best thing about teaching at Bispushi is without question the pupils. Um, I am incredibly lucky to get to work with them every day and talk about art with them every day and as a year leader to really engage with them and get to know them. So definitely the pupils. Yep, um, I discovered whilst doing GCSE and A-level that art was really my passion, the thing that I loved. So I went on to do um, a foundation course at Wimbledon and then an undergraduate degree at Goldsmiths um, and then I went to teach in Sri Lanka in an international school for a couple of years and discovered that I really enjoyed it and it is the thing that I'd like to pursue. So I returned to the UK and did my PGCE and then um, and at the same time my Masters which I carried on whilst I was in my um, first job at Kingsdale in um, London and then a girls school in South East London before coming here. Um, the most memorable experience was going um, last year in June on the Activities Week trip with the Year 8 to Inner Mongolia. The scenery was incredible, um, especially being in the desert was just like being in another world. But the thing that really made it was just seeing how the pupils in my year group integrated with each other. Um, I had an incredible amount of fun and I left being a very proud head of year. Um, in January, I've chosen to go with a group of Bispushi pupils to, on the Tanzania expedition as part of the global campus. Um, I'm very excited to go with them because I used to live there and I hope that they get to experience some of the fantastic things and learn some of the things that I did when I lived there. Uh, I also hope that they engage with the craft, the music, the people whilst they're there and build some lasting relationships with the new people that they meet, as well as developing the relationships with the other pupils they go with. Um, if I could live anywhere in the world, I would choose for it to be Mexico, Sri Lanka or somewhere in East Africa. Um, my mum is Sri Lankan but grew up in East Africa so I have got family connections there and would like to learn a little bit more about the cultures. Um, and Mexico, I was very lucky to go on a trip travelling around in a little beetle and just fell in love with the craft and the scenery. And all of those three places you can live by the sea, which would be wonderful. If I could get a selfie with anyone in the world, I'd probably say I, I wouldn't get one. I think I luckily seem to have um, missed out on the selfie obsession and probably if there is someone, I'd just be too shy to ask them anyway. Um, if I wasn't a teacher, I'd still like to do something creative and engage with lots of people. So it would be making things um, and I would like to make things like cards and cupcakes and have a little shop by the sea to sell them in. If I could choose one actor to be me in a film, I would choose Salma Hayek. Um, a, because she's really pretty cool, and B, because she is from Mexico, somewhere that I would love to live. My favourite restaurant in Shanghai is a small Sichuanese restaurant on the um, crossroads of Wulamuchi Lu and Fuxing Lu, and I'm very sorry that I don't know the name. So you have to look for a yellow and red sign if you're going to go there. Um, it just does delicious um, Sichuanese food. I would recommend the tofu, the green beans, and the wonton in soup. Okay, I could not live without, in Shanghai, A, my phone, translating, maps, addresses, it's vital. Um, B, my Chinese pajamas for the cold months without central heating. And the last one would be my bicycle, um, because it gives me freedom and I get to explore little places in Shanghai that I didn't know existed before.